the Australian Capital Territory, known as the Federal Capital Territory until 1938, is a landlocked federal territory of Australia containing the national capital Canberra and some surrounding townships. It is located in southeastern Australian mainland as an enclave completely within the state of New South Wales, founded after Federation as the seat of government for the new nation. All important institutions of the Australian government are headquartered in the territory. On 1 January 1901, Federation of the Colonies of Australia was achieved. Section 125 of the new Australian Constitution provided that land, situated in New South Wales and at least 100 miles from Sydney, would be ceded to the new federal government. Following discussion and exploration of various areas within New South Wales, the Seat of Government Act 1908 was passed in 1908 which specified a capital in the Yas Canberra region. The territory was transferred to the federal government by New South Wales in 1911, two years prior to the capital city being founded and formally named as Canberra in 1913. While the overwhelming majority of the population reside in the city of Canberra in the Acts, Northeast. The territory also includes some surrounding townships such as Williamsdale, Nace, Uria, Tharwa and Hall. The ACT also includes the Namadgi National Park which comprises the majority of land area of the territory. Despite a common misconception, the Jervis Bay Territory is not part of the ACT although the laws of the Australian capital territory apply as if Jervis Bay did form part of the ACT. The territory has a relatively dry, continental climate experiencing warm to hot summers and cool to cold winters. The Australian Capital Territory is home to many important institutions of the federal government, national monuments and museums. This includes the Parliament of Australia, the High Court of Australia, the Australian Defence Force Academy and the Australian War Memorial. It also hosts the majority of foreign embassies in Australia as well as regional headquarters of many international organizations, not-for-profit groups, lobbying groups and professional associations. Several major universities also have campuses in the ACT including the Australian National University, the University of Canberra, the University of New South Wales, Charles Sturt University and the Australian Catholic University. A locally elected legislative assembly has governed the territory since 1988. However, the Commonwealth maintains authority over the territory and may overturn local laws. It still maintains control over the area known as the Parliamentary Triangle through the National Capital Authority. Residents of the territory elect three members of the House of Representatives and two senators, with 431,215 residents. The Australian Capital Territory is the third smallest mainland state or territory by population. At the 2016 census, the median weekly income for people in the territory aged over 15 was $998, significantly higher than the national average of $662. The average level of degree qualification in the ACT is also higher than the national average. Within the ACT, 37.1% of the population hold a bachelor's degree level or above education compared to the national figure of 20%. Indigenous Australian peoples have long inhabited the area. Evidence indicates habitation dating back at least 25,000 years. It is possible that the area was inhabited for considerably longer. With evidence of an Aboriginal presence at Lake Mungo in southwestern New South Wales dating back. Around 40,000 years, the principal group occupying the region were the Anganaval people. Following European settlement, the growth of the new colony of New South Wales led to an increasing demand for arable land. Governor Lachlan Macquarie supported expeditions to open up new lands to the south of Sydney. The 1820s saw further exploration in the Canberra area associated with the construction of a road from Sydney to the Goulburn Plains. While working on the project, Charles Throsby learned of a nearby lake and river from the local indigenous peoples and he accordingly sent Wilde to lead a small party to investigate the site. The search was unsuccessful, but they did discover the Yas River and it is surmised that they would have set foot on part of 
the future territory. A second expedition was mounted shortly thereafter and they became the first Europeans to camp at the Molonglo and Kweambeang rivers. However, they failed to find the Murambaji River. The issue of the Murambaji was solved in 1821 when Throsby mounted a third expedition and successfully reached the watercourse, on the way providing the first detailed account of the land where Canberra now resides. The last expedition in the region before settlement was undertaken by Alan Cunningham in 1824. He reported that the region was suitable for grazing and the settlement of the limestone plains. Followed immediately thereafter.